RFK Jr.'s recent comments about Kamala Harris strike a chord with both frustration and empathy, highlighting concerns about political responsibility, economic failure, and leadership in general. His remarks underscore the significance of individual accountability and governance that's driven by real outcomes. I was born in the middle class, RFK Jr. states, using this personal truth to sharpen his critique of Harris, who he suggests sidesteps accountability for the policy shortfalls under the Biden-Harris administration, particularly regarding the economy. What's wrong? But now, the Democratic Party has given us a loophole around that mandate. All you have to know is seven words, and you never have to admit to doing anything wrong again. And do you know what those seven words are? I was born in the middle class. So repeat after me, I was born in the middle class. So the next time your boss asks you why you were late for work, what are you going to say? And the next time your wife asks you why you didn't take out the garbage, what are you going to say? And the next time your landlord asks you for the rent check, check, check what are you going to say? That's all you have to know, and you don't have to answer any question. And we know why she didn't want to ask, answer that question, because there's no good answer to it. By every indicia in which we measure the welfare of our economy, the Trump administration excelled, and the Biden-Harris administration has failed us. His criticism that, by every measure, the Trump administration's progress has been reversed, and the Biden-Harris administration has failed us, feeds into a broader conservative narrative. This view contrasts Trump's perceived economic successes with what many see as Biden and Harris's inability to get a handle on inflation, job loss, and overall economic instability. RFK Jr. S. take resonates with conservatives' concern that the current administration is abating its responsibilities failing to tackle the country's most pressing issues. The public is drawn to these critiques because they tap into a desire for competent, results-driven leadership. Leaders who don't just talk about the middle class, but act decisively to improve the economic landscape. By invoking his own middle-class roots, RFK Jr. appeals to a conservative ethos that people, including politicians, should be judged on their results not on their socioeconomic background or narratives that deflect blame. His statement not only captures the public's dissatisfaction with politicians, who seem to avoid taking ownership of the nation's problems, but also offers an outlet for those who feel politically and economically disenfranchised. In a way, he channels the collective frustration, almost inviting people to laugh in disbelief at what they perceive as ongoing incompetence. Blame, of course, is a potent psychological tool here. RFK Jr. frames the Biden-Harris administration as the clear antagonist, contrasting it with the success story of Trump's tenure, thereby giving the public a direct target for their discontent. 